Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have some Mac and Aladdin goodies that I am so excited about. So I did purchase all of these things myself, so I wasn't able to get everything. These are definitely the things that I was most excited for, so hopefully you will feel the same way. So I did get the eyeshadow palette. I got all four of the lipstick shades, and then I also did get one of their face colors, which this is called a powder blush. It's definitely more luminous, and I think some people could probably use it as highlight but oh, so pretty everything is so gorgeous so on the packaging here you have the little magic lamp uh, lotus flowers peacocks everything's so gorgeous the eyeshadow palette box is like this it's just got this really beautiful print on it and then the four lipsticks have like peacock feathers on the boxes beautiful turquoise and gold oh it's so pretty so i'm gonna dive right in and start playing with everything and then we can keep on talking so i've done basically brown and face I've done just about everything so I'm gonna try out the powder blush I did get the shade always one jump ahead which I'm fairly certain is the lighter shade so oh my goodness this is what the packaging looks like I have taken pictures but I have not swatched anything yet so that's what that looks like it has a little the regular compact so you press to open really nice it feels pretty nice in the hand it feels like it's good quality and then you have the print on it it's so pretty it is a magic lamp print so let me turn it this way so you can see and if you didn't notice i do have my hair i tried to do like a very jasmine-esque type of hair and my hair is very fine so i did do some extensions to kind of give me that fullness that i needed it still looks kind of fine i used basically just like a four clip weft in the back upside down so i could pull my hair up easily and it wouldn't hurt and i have in irresistible me if you want to know all right back to the makeup because that was out of just out of left field i have the sephora collection pro number 54 airbrush blush brush so this is technically a blush so we're going to try it out on the cheek first and see what it looks like that's really pretty it's just like luminous very neutral of course so on me it's going to look a bit more gold I feel like this is like perfect for like a glowy summer look and this brush gives you a little bit more precision because I want to make sure I'm putting it in the right areas so I'm going a little bit on the apples of the cheek and sweeping back it's not going to quite tap the highlight of the cheeks but it's going to get pretty close so I think this would be really gorgeous as a highlight on deep skin tones on me obviously it has a little bit too much color to do that but it is really gorgeous. You can see it's really, really pigmented. So I actually feel like I want to tone it down just a little bit. I use my Stands Out Beauty Sponge. It has a little powder on it. And just to kind of, I don't know, just to kind of press it in right here and kind of diminish that look so it looks a bit softer. And then I'm going to use, since I have it right here, this MAC Happily, Happy Go Dazzlingly. This is from like two holidays ago. It's just a little bit lighter. And I'm going to put that right on the high points to kind of emphasize that glow. All right, so I just wanted to make sure I could go a bit lighter on the cheeks on the high points to really look like I have a highlight, but if you like a blush that is matte, you're really not gonna like this one. If you're watching and you're like, I have really deep skin, I don't think that's gonna work for me, it would definitely be more of a highlight shade because it is really glowy as you can see there. So I don't know, that might be a little bit dark for me as a blush and it's very very pigmented and almost like has like a real highlight glow to it so I would say just be careful with this one if you're going in and you're like you know what I want something subtle this may not be very subtle especially on my super fair skin but it's gorgeous nonetheless let's jump into the palette and this is the princess jasmine palette it's a little nine pan this is gorgeous so here we have the packaging it's just beautiful and let's give you a look at the colors so here they are little nine pan it's kind of neutral there's a bit of a mauve tone going on there's a gold so it looks like it's going to be pretty versatile i could definitely do a couple different looks with this so i'm going to dive right in the first thing i'm going to do is the morphe e30 and i'm going to pick up this light pink shade it is the top right i'm kind of going just above the crease and blending up just to give a really nice transition i went in very lightly with that so you may not be able to see much of that going on at first 
I don't have an Aladdin mirror, but I do have my Beauty and the Beast mirror. So we're going to use that. Let me know below what your favorite Disney movies are. Mine, my like classic favorites are Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast, and The Little Mermaid. Those are like my absolute top three. I also really like Pocahontas. I wasn't a big Lion King person because it's, it's too sad. Like I love the movie in so many ways, but I just, I can't rewatch it. There's only a total of three mattes in this palette. And I am going to take the next one, which is right here. So it's like a beautiful transition shade. So I'm going to go just under where I did the pink. And I'm so excited to go see the movie. Let me know below if you're going to go see it in theaters or if you're going to wait until it comes out. I definitely need to go see it in theaters. I haven't been in a while to see any like new movies when they come out, but I've got to see that one. And I'm taking just a little bit of that light pink shade and basically just kind of mixing the two a little bit and blending to give a nice little transition. I'm going to transition to a little bit smaller brush. I'm going to try out this shade right here in the middle. It is more of a shimmer or metallic shade, but I don't have a lot of mattes to work with and the other matte is really, really dark. So I'm going to just see how this might blend out. Okay, not, not very good, but not a huge surprise. So I'm just going to go ahead and go for it and dive into this darkest matte shade. This looks like a really dark eggplant. It's a really beautiful color. So I'm going in very, very soft to begin with. I don't know if I just had like really super high expectations, but this palette is not really blending the way I want it to. I'm sure it looks pretty good on camera, like, and this is not an egregious statement, like, oh my gosh, so bad. But I would just say it's really good. Definitely one I would use again already, I can tell you. But you know, it's not like, oh my god, this is the best quality ever. I've also been wearing a lot of Natasha Denona shadows lately, and I think that kind of definitely puts you at a little bit of a bias and a disadvantage when you're trying other shadows, because you're like, I know that there are things that blend better. <laughs> but then on the other hand, if you had been using like mediocre shadows, you'd be like, oh my god, this is so amazing. It's just one of those things. So at this point, I think I'm just gonna keep focusing on this eye and finish that off so you guys can see it before my camera decides to overheat. So I've swatched four shimmer shades. Here they are. So here are those four swatched out. I'm just gonna dive in with that center shade that I tried to blend out before because I really wanna see what it looks like on the eyes. My finger is just a little bit damp uh, from the wipe there and sometimes that really works out nicely. It's a beautiful transition to that eggplant shade. With just a very little product on the brush, it's gonna blend those two. This is great for like a soft, sultry eye. All right, so I kind of evened out the eyes since my camera decided to overheat. I am gonna do just a couple more things. So this shade right here is kind of like mauve with this little blue shift or little blue shimmer in it. So I'm just gonna tap that over and just add a little something and see what that can do. I did wet that metallic, which made it look a little bit better. As you can see, it's kind of pretty. So I kind of just lightly dampen the brush and I'm just gonna tap this little color over. It's not gonna be a noticeable difference to you guys probably, but it just adds a little something and a little extra dimension to it but there you go i don't know if you'll be able to tell a difference at all but that's the general feel to it and now i'm just going to take a little pencil brush i'm going to dip into this shade right here with a small brush and just try it under the lash line this seemed to be the one that would probably blend the best so we're going to try it out it's actually quite cute i'm cleaning off that brush and then i'm going to take that light pink shade just a little bit to help blend that out all right, so I like this overall look. It's just soft, it's smoky, it is kind of on the mauvier side, and I actually really like it. So I'm gonna pop on some mascara and then we will try out the lips. All right, so I have four lips to swatch, so let's get into the first one. So the first shade is called A Friend Like Me. It's the inner packaging, so you can see it's gorgeous. And then this is the shade. Alright, there is Friend Like Me. It looks so gorgeous. I love this 
like light pink neutral, but it's not too light. It's like just light enough. This is so pretty. The next shade is called a Princess Incognito. Okay, there's Princess Incognito. I don't really like it with this eye look but this is a really pretty color. It's like pink neutral, but then it's got like a hint of maybe terracotta or something like that into it. I don't know, it's just really, really gorgeous. I do, I do enjoy the shade a lot. So happy. The next shade is called Whole New World. Ooh. Okay, so there is a Princess Incognito. This one is so gorgeous. So this one's a matte, but it's got this beautiful quality to it. Like I'm having a hard time figuring it out. It's got like this very super, super fine shimmer in it that still looks matte from a distance, but up close, it has this like reflectiveness to it. It is so pretty. Looking at it like this would never do it justice up close. This is such a gorgeous color. Now this last shade, when I saw it in a picture online, it was the one that I was like, oh, maybe I don't need that one color. Maybe I'll only get three. And then I saw the name of it and this one is called Raja. And I have a really soft spot in my heart for Raja. My cat Minners, which is my only boy, I call him Minaraja sometimes. So when I saw the name, I was like, no, I can't pass it up. But the swatches that I saw were actually really gorgeous. So in the tube, it doesn't really look like it's gonna be anything super special, or at least it didn't to me at first. But let's just try it on because you gotta see. All right, so here is Raja. This one is so pretty. So it's hard to put a finger on this because it's almost like a plum pink brown. Like it's something in there and it is a little bit on the darker side, but it's so much prettier on the lips than I expect it to be just based off of the picture. But yeah, that is Raja. I think it's really pretty and it's very flattering to be so dark. It still is really wearable, flattering to me. I think it's really pretty. So again, that is Raja. I really love all of the lipsticks. I feel very happy about them. Three of them were all mattes. The only one that was not a matte is the Friend Like Me shade, which is the very first one I tried on. This is an amplified creme lipstick. And I really like the formula of all of them, but I am kind of partial to this. I think with this eye look, that first color that I put on is probably the most complimentary. The palette to me was middle of the road. I do think that the assortment is really gorgeous. And I think I came out with a really pretty soft sultry smoky look as far as the theme of it being aladdin goes i love it i love everything about it and i definitely am going to hold on to everything because i do i love the packaging i love the motif of it i think it's really gorgeous and as far as the blush goes i i feel like this one to me is honestly as gorgeous as it is I think this is probably best suited for someone who is maybe medium to deeper skin and can use it as more of a highlighter. It would be kind of like not extreme blinding, like in between natural and blinding, if that makes sense. Um, on me personally, unfortunately, I don't think that it's extremely flattering, but let me know what you think. If you think that I'm off on this, do you think this is really gorgeous as a blush? I do like it and I think I'll use it again, but it's not gonna be like holy grail status, if that makes sense. So that is everything. I'm I'm definitely most pleased with the lips. Highly, highly recommend these lip colors. I think they were all really, really gorgeous. I, I can't get enough of that. Let me know what you think below. I definitely want to hear your guys' thoughts. I don't regret buying a piece of this. I love me some Aladdin and I can't wait to go see it in the movies. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I appreciate it more than you can know. If you have a moment, leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, or make sure to subscribe to my channel. All of those things really help me out and I do appreciate it so much. So thank you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye. We have one more little thing to take care of. Our dad joke. Have you heard the rumor going around about butter? Never mind. I shouldn't spread it. <laughs> I don't know. I like that one. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye.